everyone and welcome to Variety Varnish. My name is Sheila and today we are going to talk about Halloween nail polishes. So I have a bunch of these polishes pulled out for you today. Halloween is a very interesting holiday for me because I did not grow up celebrating Halloween. Um, I grew up in the Philippines and so we didn't have Halloween. Instead we had All Souls Day and All saints day which was november 2nd and november 1st well november 1st is all saints day and november 2nd is all souls day and so yeah we really didn't have halloween um we also didn't have social media so nowadays it's different a lot of you know filipinos from the younger generation now celebrate halloween but me myself growing up we didn't do any of that. We didn't dress up in costumes, none of that stuff. So um, it was definitely something that I sort of assimilated to. Uh, my daughter, who is three, absolutely loves Halloween. Halloween is in her soul. She loves it better than Christmas. And so I have come to love Halloween as well. And of course, the polishes that always come out during Halloween are phenomenal, I find. I think they're amazing, creative, inventive polishes. And so I always look out for them. And I have a couple of mishmash um, polishes here. Some I've tried in the past. Some I have um, purchased but not tried yet and some I'm currently wearing right now. And so I am going to be swatching them in my trusty little swatch flower and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start with the polish that I'm wearing on my nails right now. And this is Quixotic Polishes Sparkle Fingers Magic. This is from um, Polish Pickup September. And oh my God, look at that shifty goodness. I just need to show you that shift. So it shifts from purple to blue to red, like a burgundy red to gold. And it is absolutely beautiful. And you can probably see the shift on my nails. I'm gonna try. I'm not so sure if you can see it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I actually skipped on this polish because I was uh, frankly scared of it. I didn't know if I could pull it off, but I saw it on D-Stash and um, I just couldn't resist. So I picked it up and I'm so happy I did because this is absolutely beautiful. So as you can see, it's sheer on here. To be honest, um, you could easily get opacity at one coat on this polish, even though right now, because I have like a sheer clear um, swatch stick or swatch flower, um, you are gonna see that it's a bit sheer, but to be honest, you can get this opaque in one coat. The question then becomes, would you stop at one coat or add a second or third coat and just get that super rich shiftiness to it? I mean, at second coat, if you look at my um, nails, this is two coats, and it is just literally magical. It makes the color so much richer and it makes the shift really evident. And so that I think is perfect for um, Halloween. I always wear something vampy purple for Halloween. And that is Quixotic Polishes Sparkle Fingers Magic. The second polish I'm gonna show you is this beautiful, again, shifty, green to gold polish from Kale Polish and this is Medusa and I have worn this previously and I absolutely love this polish. This has a very Slytherin feel to it and I absolutely love it. It's a metallic that's not super brush strokey. It's very shifty and I think because of that it's very very perfect for Halloween. Now as you can see it's a little bit sheer again on here on the first coat. Maybe I don't know if I should have mixed it better because it's been sitting a little bit or maybe it's because I have a clear um, swatch stick 
but this is actually super beautiful as you can see right there so it leans gold on here but on the nail you can also see that very evident green shift very slytherin feel to it and i absolutely love this during the halloween season you could even probably pull this off for march but for halloween it's it's very interesting it's definitely a conversation starter and it's absolutely beautiful and that's kale polishes medusa the third polish that i'm going to talk about is another polish pickup offering and this time this is polish pickup august and this is zombie claws rust in pieces Oh my goodness, I recently wore this polish and you can probably see my swatch photo for this polish at my Instagram account at Variety Varnish. But this is a positively gorgeous sort of pumpkin orange with some really interesting, like I think this is like a holographic glitter some black glitters in there some holographic flakes just absolutely beautiful polish now what i love about this polish aside from the fact that it has some beautiful base color is the fact that the formula oh my goodness it's a one coater and a good one coater and i don't even know why like these are showing sheer right now i, I really think it's because my um swatch my swatch flower is clear and this is why I don't really particularly love like clear swatch sticks or swatch flowers but oh well whatever but this is absolutely I mean look at that that is positively gorgeous and I highly highly enjoyed wearing this polish and I know it's a PPU offering but if you do find it in a D stash you know, really consider it. Um, this was actually a second order for me. I at first passed on it and then I realized, you know what, this is something that I really loved. I love the base color. A lo I love the sort of interesting take to the flakies and the glitters the combination of it all. It was just beautiful and that's Zombie Claws Rust in Pieces. The fourth polish that I'm going to talk about today I'm sure will not come as a surprise to many of you and this is the favorite, the classic China Glazes Cinderella. Now I have a mini bottle of this. Um, actually when I picked up a set of this polish I did not realize how popular it was going to be or you know how popular it was. And so I never really ended up getting a bigger bottle for this polish. And I think that's okay because even though this polish is absolutely beautiful, as you can see, um, it is so well loved that it has been done and redone by many, many makers, um, mainstream and indie alike. And I believe Essie's Socialites is a very, very close color to Cinderella. And there's a bunch of other indies too that, you know, are trying to make something of the same mood. Honestly, if you look at this month's PPU, November's PPU, the J. Ren offering is so sort of reminiscent to the Cinderella vibe and so I I mean if I finish my mini bottle am I going to be sad yeah a little bit will I completely go crazy hunting for the big bottle probably not because I have a couple of other options um Moonshine Manny also has a dupe for this now so yeah um but it's an absolutely beautiful polish perfect for Halloween and I mean, what can I say? It's a fan favorite. It's a classic China glaze, and this is Cinderella. The fifth polish I'm gonna talk about is another China glaze, and this is my pick for this year's China glaze Halloween collection, and this is Pathological Liar Liar. It's this sort of coppery orange with lots of holographic um, glitters in it, and of course I can't open it, so give me one second. And I'm back and I was talking about Pathological Liar Liar from China Glaze. And honestly, this is the only thing, the only sh polish that very much interested me from the 
um, Halloween collection this year. And as you can see, it's a very sheer sort of copper orange. I believe on the nail, it takes about three coats to get opaque, but it also functions super beautifully as a topper, which I'm really, really interested in. I mean, as you can see, if I just, you know, put a little bit of skin underneath there it's starting to get opaque and you can see that beautiful holographic right in there and um I, what can i say it's it's a beautiful orange polish um i've seen this um on nail art like with a lot of black stamping and it looks absolutely beautiful and that is china glaze's pathological liar liar the next polish I'm going to show you is another purple, but this one has a beautiful sort of gold metallic, gold to silver metallic glitter um, in it that makes it shift so beautifully. And this is Zoya's Doll. Oh my goodness, when I saw this, I actually was like, this is going to be a Halloween polish one of these days and honestly I feel so sad because you know before I was before I started YouTube and Instagram I literally just thought of like one Halloween polish a year and I guess I should have probably planned better and I should have you know started wearing Halloween polishes um, starting October 1st maybe and I probably would have worn all of these, but as it is, well, um, there's always next year, right? But look at that beauty. Holy macaron. It's so gorgeous. That like rich purple with that gold shimmer right there. It is positively gorgeous and I absolutely love it. And that is Zoya's doll. The next polish I'm going to show you is not necessarily a Halloween uh, polish, but I feel that it gives off a very Halloween vibe, and this is Luminous Lacquer's Ladybug. So this is sort of like an orangey red with some black hex glitters, white hex glitters, all of different sizes, and it also has a sprinkling of holographic in it. And so I think it's an absolutely beautiful polish. I think that it, this could work for summer. This could work as a transition shade. And this is this could very well work for Halloween as well. So as you can see, it's a very, very rich orange red. And I have a mini bottle of this. And so I'm probably going to have to fetch for some glitters. But it's just absolutely beautiful as you can see. And it's just a very cute, fun polish to wear for Halloween, I think. But I'm gonna kinda just tilt it a moment and you can see there's some white hex glitters in there. Um, I probably have to mix it up a little bit better for you to be really, um, for you to be able to see it really well. <laughs> I can't talk tonight. But um, yeah, so that is Luminous Lacquer's Ladybug. The next polish I'm going to talk about is this shifty, shifty sort of green, gray, blue, purple, pink, just a magical, magical polish. And this is H&M's Imaginarium. What these like shifty polishes, oops, sorry about that. These shifty polishes, I love during Halloween. I think it's a great excuse to sort of just be, you know, out and about with your polish choices. I hope I didn't get any ladybug glitter on that, but I don't think so. But so as you can see, this kind of like leans gray, but in different lights, you can see that shift. Like my lighting is not the best, but the shift on there is really like, okay, so I know you don't see it on camera probably, but as I lean it towards me like this, I can see a lot of purple and a lot of green. And so it's absolutely fun and interesting polish to wear for the Halloween, um, not traditional, but I think it's something, all these shifty shades, I think it's, it, Halloween is one of the best times to pull them out. And that is H&M's Imaginarium. 
The next polish I'm going to talk about, you've already seen me swatch and you've already seen me wear, but this is my three-year-old daughter's pick for Halloween this year, and this is Zoya's Amy. I mean, can you blame her? It's an absolutely gorgeous, oops, I can't open it again, shimmering orange, and has a lot of these like golden sort of micro glitter. It's gonna be a mess to clean up on her, that's funny. But I mean, look at that shimmering goodness. It's absolutely beautiful. And that is her pick for Halloween. And I have to include this in this video because if you guys have some, you know, young little ladies in your life that you don't want to wear vampy shades or anything like that, I think these types of like fun, gold, orange, brighter colors are perfect for Halloween. I think I'm going to just then put a little pumpkin decal on her thumb or something fun like that. And this is Zoya's Amy. And last but not the least is this polish. And it is absolutely breathtaking. And this is Painted Polishes Sanderson Sister Sing Along. And this is what I'm gonna be wearing for Halloween day. I mean, I wouldn't be me if it wasn't a mustard yellow, right? But this is a mustard yellow holographic and I can't wait to wear this. I'm probably gonna stamp um, over this with some um, hocus pocus, um, you know, images, but look at that gorgeousness. I usually wear um, purple, a vampy purple um, on Halloween day, but sometimes I wanna change it up. And this year, I this is something that I recently picked up. And this year, this just called my name. Look at that beautiful holographic mustard yellow. It's just absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to wear it. And I think there may only be a few bottles left on Polish, uh, Painted Polish's website for this polish. And so if you're interested, um, I would highly suggest to kind of just go and pick it up. And this is Painted Polish's Sanderson Sisters Sing Along. And so that's it. Those are my, I don't know, Halloween polish picks for 2019. I don't know that they're necessarily really my picks because I didn't get to wear a lot of them. Unfortunately, like I said, I should have probably planned better. But um, these are some Halloween polishes that I have in my collection that I feel like I should probably be sharing with you guys. Um, I did put a second coat on everything just so everything has a little bit more oomph, a little bit more substance. So just as a recap, this is Quixotic Polishes um, Sparkle Fingers Magic. This is KL Polishes Medusa. This is Zombie Claw Rust in Pieces. This is China Glaze Cinderella. This is China Glaze Pathological Liar Liar. This is Zoya's Doll. This is Luminous Lacquer's Ladybug. And as you can see on that second coat, there's, you know, much more interesting glitters and, uh, you know, other stuff going on in there. There's a red glitter. There's a white glitter, a silver glitter, black glitters, hex, all hex glitters of different sizes. This is H&M's Imaginarium. And you can see a little bit of the shift in there. This is Zoya's Amy, and this is Painted Polishes Sanderson Sister Sing Along. And so thank you so much for being here with me to chat about Halloween polishes. And yeah, um, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, nail polish, other things related to nail polish collecting, um, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell button for notifications. And um, Polish Pickup is going to be next. Um, it's, you know, it's super close. It's this Saturday, November 1st. So I'm finishing up my wish list and I want to share that with you. So watch out for that video and hopefully I will be seeing you there. Have a great week. Bye.